Hello everybody and welcome to Master of Orion 2 Battle at Antares. I know before I said I wasn't going to record this series, but I actually changed my mind. Now, it's been a little while since I last played this, so we're going to put it on average. Uh, last time I played this, however, I beat it in like two hours. But, uh, I'm hoping that's not going to be the case this time. We can actually have a little bit of fun with it. But I'm not entirely sure how much fun this is going to be. Uh, all these settings actually look pretty okay. Uh, we're going to hit accept. And now I always play as the, uh, where are they? The, the Cylons. Because of their, uh, they have the creative, uh, as you can see down there at the bottom here. And that, what that enables me to do is when I research something, I get everything in that block. Ruler name, Goldor. No, we're not going to do all, all caps. That actually annoys me. Uh, we will go with... Green. Just because. Uh, now, if the audio for the game is a little too loud, I can actually turn it down. Uh, our home star name will be... Fuck it. Uh... No, 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 uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh... Cheese. Very well. So actually, let me, uh, turn the volume down for the game a little bit more. Uh, I hope that's good. Uh, yeah, I just I just did that mid-recording. Um, Alright, so here's Cheese. Here we are. And uh, my fleet, I have two frigates and a colony ship. So we have a medium desert planet, ultra rich, uh, rich in heavy gravity. Now that's actually bad for my guys, because my guys are used to low gravity, so heavy gravity would kick my guys' ass. However, this here is a toxic planet. That's not good either. So it would be better if we uh, colonize this one. But for now, let's actually focus on something else. Let's go in here and uh, work on making some housing. Because uh, we could use some housing. Now one of the things we need to do is we always need to make sure we have enough food. Uh, I don't remember how to check to see if we're making enough food or not. But, uh, we'll leave it at that. And we don't want to, we don't really want nuclear waste from our workers. So a good thing to do is put anybody extra in, uh, research. I find because you don't really get anything bad from research. Alright, we'll close that and we'll open up the research tab. And actually what we want to start with is, I believe, here in biology, the biosphere is the hydro hydroponic farm. I fucking love those things. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna take us 12 turns. So we'll end first turn, second. We would just mash this until something happens. Breakthrough. Biospheres. Enables a colony to better control the environmental conditions, allowing colonization of a more intolerable areas of the planet. Maximum planetary population is increased by 2 million. Hydroponic farms. An automated sealed environment in which food can be grown, even on lifeless worlds. It increases the food output of a world by plus two food. Let's see if we got all of those things over there. Now let's actually go over here so we get the research laboratory. Uh, and that what that'll do is that'll increase how much research points we get. So we'll actually go back to our planet here and change what we're working on from housing to uh, the hydroponic farm and then the biospheres. And then hit OK. And we'll grab our extra uh, food guy and put him on research. Because remember, if we put him on there, we start producing toxic waste. So, hit return. 
and then uh, now that we've got the biospheres, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to hit colonize planet and uh, get this desert. And now we're going to go to that planet. And we're going to see he can't he can't produce any food. The first thing he's going to build is the hydroponic farm. It's going to take him 31 turns, but with that he'll start getting food and he, uh, my people won't kill me. So, yeah, I know, it's shortage of food. It's going to keep telling me that for a while. Uh, reject. I don't have any money to be hiring people right now. Oh, I didn't see what that was. Uh, da da da, back of wealth. Uh, redirect you for now. I'm sorry, buddy. Do, do, breakthrough. Breakthroughs are nice because it actually means you complete the research ahead of time. I got the guidance system, the electronic computer, uh, and the research laboratory. Now, see, that's great because I, uh, now we can build that and move on with our lives. Uh, Excuse me, my apologies for that one. Now, another thing we want to do uh, is soil enrichment is nice, but we're actually going to go do this one because we can actually get uh, automated factories through there. Alright, let's open this up. Uh, we're still working on that, so I want you to put the research lab next. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna see the hydroponic farm's down there, so now I can put that extra guy in my research. Uh, let's go over here. And see, now I have the option to buy out, because I have enough money to buy out the 32 production. And then, what that'll do is, that means when I end my turn, the hydroponic farm will be built. And now we can go to Cheese 2, and look! He's making food. He's no longer got a one uh, one food shortage. And then uh, we'll work on the biospheres. And now we don't have to worry about that that population of one million starving to death anymore. So that's a good start. All right. Now we just mash this until something happens again. See, that's all stuff for fighters. But that's not exactly what I care for. This is what I want here, is the automatic, automated factories. Now if you were anybody else that, if you were a race that doesn't, that, that doesn't, that doesn't have the, uh, the creative, you would have to pick and choose out of this selection. And sometimes you'll get lucky and there will only be one, so it's easy. But most of the time that's not the case. So, you really gotta be careful with the other races in my opinion and I always feel that even though the Cylon aren't exactly warriors they're uh they're like in my opinion they're the best race all right now let's uh let's get this space academy out of the way finish building the research lab Okay, let's build the automated factory, then the missile base. Alright. And see, now that we're starting to make even more food, because uh, we're getting more production value for our guys. Boop, boop. Space Academy. Train ships. Or group members. Now, I, I forgot to note that if you right click, it'll give me some information about the specific ones. Like the alien management provides better control of occupied alien populations. Aliens work harder, assimilated. So if I have alien uh, different races in on my planets, they would work better with that. And see, this is all. This helps with other stuff. But if I get the soil enrichment, for instance, uh, I get uh, plus one uh, to all my um, harvests for each farmer. 
and enrichment will not work on barren, radiated, and toxic planets. So it, it will work on my desert planet, but it won't work on the toxic planet that's in my same system. But if we go to the cloning center here, it increases the uh, population growth by 100,000 each turn. So... So... We're actually going to go for this. It's going to take a little longer than the other ones I've uh, done before, but in the end it'll be worth it. Alright, cheese 2 finished the, uh, the biospheres. And see, it doesn't... I have to put two people on here to add to my uh, food more. So, let's... Uh, get the automated factory going. It'll take 13 turns, but it'll be worth it in the end. So let's go to cheese 3 and see how it's doing. Alright, I want you guys to build the uh, Space Academy next. Boop. Uh, no, I don't want you. Q is Space Academy. And see, this is sort of kind of one of the reasons why I didn't want to record this, is because it's just me smashing the button over and over again. But I do know a lot about the game, so at least I can be informative. Uh, so now I've got the cloning center, the death spores, and the soil enrichment. So now if I go... See, these things aren't quite as useful. Uh, they will be later. Uh, but for now, we're actually going to go with something else, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. you know, let's actually go with more construction. These are useful for, uh, those pods are all useful for, um, transporting troops and stuff. So, alright, you completed the automated factory already. You guys impress me. Alright, let's change this to the uh, cloning center. Actually, let's see what the uh, smallest build time is that I got right now. 13. So we'll actually do the marine barracks and the research lab. Then uh, the cloning center, space academy, soil enrichment, and missile base. Give them a nice long list to work on. Actually, you know what? They weren't. I wasn't getting any starving things, so I actually put them both there. And then I'll end my turn. A bunch of times. Okay? So let's actually put at least one of them there. Change soil enrichment in the cloning center. And then we're just gonna... Okay, so cheese 3 has got a food shortage. That's not good. So what we'll do is we'll plop that guy there. And hope for the best. Battle pods, survival pods, two pods. Spaceport, fighter garrison, armor barracks. Uh, fuck. Alright, let's get some chemistry done. Cheese 2 has finished the marine barracks. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I mean, granted, the environmentalist is negative 20%, but that's actually a good thing for this guy. So, but we can't afford him. So there's that as well. I'm gonna, I'm at a negative 4 BC. Okay. That's, that's not good, actually. Bringing you today's headline from across the galaxy. Today marked a major scientific breakthrough for your empire when archaeologists uncovered a secret fusion beam in the wreckage of an ancient, mysterious ship. Sweet. Deuterium fuel cells. Tritanium armor. Uh, pollution processor. Here we go. This thing uses advanced uh, chemicals to produce factory to uh, process factory wastes. Uh, only half of the actual production of the planet 
uh, used to calculate the population. Pollution. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just fucked all that reading up, but oh well. So like we'll go here, and uh, since I I don't know what I'm doing, we haven't uh, researched it yet. <laughs> but stuff like that is it turns out to be invaluable in the end. All right, so you're done with that. So you guys are gonna focus on trade goods for now, actually. And, uh, that'll increase how much, uh, BC I'm making here. So, once I'm done with this research, they'll, I'll have them create that thing. is quartered before calculating population. Effects are cumulative with pollution processing. So this one's nice as well, but what we need to do is we need to focus more on uh, construction again. Uh, just cause mainly. Oh, I accidentally clicked the wrong one. Oops. Well then. Alright, we go here, hit change, double click on that, and then have them work on that. That's not what I want to click on, is it? No. Return. Can I look at the big picture? No. Okay. Anyways, I'll just hit this a few more hundred times. Galactic News Network. The galaxy's most watched information source. A beast that exists partially in hyperspace has appeared. It is feared that it will randomly destroy ships in hyperspace for an indefinite period of time. That prevents people from going in hyperspace, which uh, this early in the game I don't think would actually hurt anybody. Uh, so, I'm not really all that worried about it. The armor barracks on uh, robo miners. These are useful for uh, planets that don't really have a high population. I can just kind of chalk them full of robo miners. But uh, I guess we'll go. We'll continue to go down to uh, construction for now. and hope for the best. Building missile base. Okay. So I got too many guys there now. Uh, see, I got the automated factory so it's doing that. But you see all these here? These grayed out ones? That's like, I'm losing money because of those. So we'll change this up and go pollution processor. Bloop, 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 and then hit OK. And then blue. Labor leader, 45%. See, stuff like that just kind of is great. But, alright, so no more trade goods. We got three things to build now. Alright. End my turn a bunch of times again. Blah, blah, blah. Battle station, blah, blah. Alright, that looks good. So now we'll go to computers. Yep, the hyperspace beast is still out there. GNN, where the news comes first. The threat of the hyperspace beast has ended. All space fleets may travel in hyperspace without fear once again. 
Bloop. Okay. See, stuff like this is uh, useful because it's help. Uh, these especially help us mm, mm, fight off. Uh, oh, I forgot that the plastic China computer was here. Um, and the planetary supercomputer, which uh, is more research points. So yeah, we're definitely doing that. But uh, yeah, it's just um, I love this game. I love playing it. It's just uh, it's very time-consuming. But with the way I play it, sometimes it it's easy. Sometimes, not always. Sometimes I do get screwed over and I get murderized. But I I love it, and uh, I'm gonna basically just record this on a whim every now and then. I can't guarantee that every time I record, I'm gonna decide to record this. And some days I may decide to just record this. But uh, I hope you guys had at least a little bit of fun watching this, because I'm attempting to be as informative as I can as I can about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, and uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. This has been Goldor, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!